Hello, welcome back to Hidden Gems, the show where we profile some of the world's, some world football's hottest young talents. And today, we're going to be looking at the Denmark and Sampdoria player, Mikkel Damsgaard. Do you want to give me a little bit of a background info on Damsgaard and I'll get into it. some stats? Obviously, he is from Denmark. He's played for Denmark. He is, yeah. Notably in the Euros mm. last year. Had a very good year. tournament. Grab, you know, played five games, got two goals, even yeah. one against England, which nearly broke my heart. It was a great free kick. Very it was a very good free run. kick. Obviously, England ended up Especially winning for game. someone so young, just yeah. 21 years old. He also got an assist in that Euro campaign. This mm. year hasn't been as good to him, though. No, he's been rather unlucky. Only seven games and zero goals and zero assists under his belt. Unfortunately, he did get a hamstring injury in late October, well, about mid-October, and won't be back until probably later this month at a push, likely to be March. So, unfortunate for him, he's had a very difficult campaign. I expect to push on after a very strong Euros, but I don't know. I think once he's back, for, I think once he's back from injury, he'll play really, really well. So, yeah, yeah. Sampdoria needs him. He's a huge part of their team he's a fantastic player and they're kind of struggling without him uh, the number 38 as well I don't think we mentioned that quite a high number I love, I love Italian, Italian still Italian people does love their big numbers not as big but 38 is quite a weird one where do you think he will end up say mm, I, could, know, I could I could see like an down. Arsenal yeah but I think I'd like keep you a backup option there left wing he plays mainly left wing but uh, can also do a job in attacking midfield so, any club that kind of needs to create, I could see like a yeah. Fulham if Fabio Carvalho leaves. Yeah, I, I could see him being a rotation Maybe option a, at a, a mm. either a Liverpool or an Arsenal or something a, like that. A push up to a bigger Italian side. Yeah, that's probably likely. If Casey gets a big move, yeah. then that could, Juve could be a good destination for him. Or even without the big move, because Damsgaard yeah. would be a very good option on that left wing with um, Dybala leaving soon as well. Mm-hmm. So that's that's probably the most likely. I think he'd also do really well at Tottenham, but yeah, you know they've already got Son. He'd, but he'd be a good a... backup option. He'd be back 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 up than back Bearvain and stuff. Could do a bit of like a Vlahovic, for example. You know, a lower Syria side, then yeah. went up. Now has gone to Juventus, and then maybe we'll push on to that to one more big move outside of Italy. Yeah, I could see that. I'm kind of progressing. Definitely see through that. The ranks. Especially with Dabala living on a free. Right, I think that's about everything. This was episode 14 of Hidden Gems, almost 15. Who's going to be episode 15? Don't know. You'll have to tune in next Monday to find out. But yes, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts on Mikael Damsgaard and what's going to happen in his career. And uh, if you're Danish as well, mention that. That'd be cool. Get some Danes in uh, supporting their home, home boy or, or um, any Sampdoria fans as well. But yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.